Hi, I am Dr. Quinn, medicine woman. How can I help you today? My dad is making me crazy. He keeps cleaning obsessively all night long. I can't sleep. He doesn't realize he's making so much noise. Dad, stop cleaning. It's two in the morning. Oh, come on. Just a few more dirty spots left. Go back to sleep. I tried, but I can't. You're too noisy. Will you hurry up and finish? Put that earplugs on that I gave you. I still have to vacuum and make my evening drink tonight. Oh, please don't start singing. I'm so sick of your drinking songs. Drinking makes me happy. And then I want to sing. Don't be such a sport sport. And sing with me. For he's a happy good fellow. He's a happy good fellow. Which nobody can deny. I've had enough of this. I'm taking you to the doctor tomorrow. Doctor? I don't need no doctor. I'm fine. No, you're not fine. You're crazy. I can't live like this. Tommy, you're too sensitive. But if that makes you happy, I'll go. Thank you. What's wrong with cleaning? People usually complain about people being too messy, not too clean. Cleaning every night until 2 o'clock in the morning? You don't think that's weird? That's not weird. Some people are just awake at that hour. They may work different hours, or they just may be a night owl. I can't believe you're saying this. Maybe I came to the wrong doctor. If you don't like it, Tommy, you can move out. You're a grown man. Get your own place and let your dad clean all night if he wants. It's not that easy. I can't afford it. Also, I'm worried about my dad. He could trip or fall. After he cleans, he drinks, and he's fallen down the stairs before. I don't want anything to happen to him. Do you feel you have a problem, Stuart? Maybe. I enjoy cleaning. But it's tough for me to stop. I want to sometimes, but I can't. It makes me feel good. When did it start? Have you been like this your whole life? No, it started recently, like maybe five years ago, around the same time my mom passed away. Oh, I'm sorry about your loss. What was she like? She was the greatest woman in the world. She took care of us and spoiled us. She cleaned everything and kept the house spick and span. You know, I've heard of this kind of behavior before. The subject misses the deceased so much that they mimic the behavior to feel closer to them. What are we supposed to do then? Raise the dead? Oh, <laughs> your dad needs some help cleaning. I hate cleaning. I can't help with that. I know a great cleaning lady. Oh, I know a great lady. She's been working for me for many years. She may be able to help once a week or so, and I could talk to her if you like. I'd be willing to give it a try. No, no. We don't need some stranger coming to our house and trying to replace my wife. I can, I can clean myself. She's not a replacement, Stuart. She's a helper. Please, Dad, let's just try it. If she does a bad job, you can clean up her mess and never see her again. Okay. Fine. She better be good at ironing, too. Oh, she is. Trust me. She's the best housekeeper I've ever had. And she's an awesome cook, too. I will be the judge of that. Where are you heading to so early? It's not 3 a.m. yet. To bed. Maria already cleaned everything. Isn't she great? The floors are cleaned, the carpet's vacuumed, dinner was great. She's not as great as your mom, but she's still better than I expected. How are things going with Maria? Really great. I'm finally getting some sleep. That's great. And you, Stuart, are you happier? Yes. In fact, I decided to date Maria. Of course, with your blessing. What? Are you trying to steal my housekeeper? You horn dog, you. That's amazing, though. I'm glad I was able to help. Doctor, you are a godsend. You saved our family. Mm, just doing my job. If you know of anyone else with obsessive cleaning disorder or any other problems, send them my way. Take care, guys.